my gosh, no way. I'm like hey shaking. How are you? Oh my gosh. I don't, oh my oh, gosh, there wow. they are. Argentine boa babies. Logan and I just noticed something pretty cool. Potentially, potentially cool. Argentine Boa is here. She hasn't wanted to eat in a couple of weeks and she's in shed. And even though she hasn't eaten, she looks huge right there. And if you follow, let me zoom out. If you follow her body, that is the lower third of her body, which is where boas keep their babies when they're developing. Are you gravid? Can you tell us? I would love Argentine Boa babies. That'd be so cool. I'm gonna be hopeful. I'm gonna say, yes, she's gravid. What do you think? I'm hoping. Okay, we'll see. Okay, it's a few days later and she just looks huge. Hasn't shed yet, but look at that scale spread. So there's her tail and you can just see how wide she is down there. So I am betting on gravid, hopefully. I guess we'll see. Merry Christmas, animals in the zoo. And more importantly, she's right still there. thick spread. Oh. Oh my gosh, yeah, there are no babies today. No Christmas babies. Okay, the reason why we think she's due very soon though is because, I mean. Look at that scale spread. Yeah, look at that scale spread. You can see the skin in between the scale. <laughs> That's insane. She also shed about a week and a half ago and she hasn't been eating the last couple of weeks and she has been all over this cage or this enclosure. She's been here, up there, over here, even under the rock, which we kind of exposed so she could have a nice safe place to give birth when she's ready. And her just being restless and having shed and not wanting to eat, as well as seeing that scale spread, those are all signs of her ready to give birth soon. So any day, or you just have to poop. I don't know. Are you using your own babies as a pillow? I don't know if that's what babies are for, but you look quite content. Have your babies. Uh, it's been like two weeks since our last update and Phoenix, you need to have your babies. Look at how big you're getting. How many babies in there are in there? Our staff has all placed guesses on how many she's going to have, but now you just need to have them. Oh my gosh, Phoenix, have your babies already. You are ginormous. It's been like three weeks since our last update and she just keeps getting bigger. Oh my gosh. You need to look at Phoenix. How do you keep getting fatter, Phoenix? How are you fitting babies in there still? Oh my gosh. We've got to be getting close. Man, you're like just about to give birth, although I've been saying that for a while now, yet you're still climbing your enclosure and acting like it's no big deal. There's so many babies in there. Just give birth already, girl. Oh my gosh. Where is Emily? Where is Emily? She's not doing her visiting hours right now. She must have gone in back. We have to find her. Uh, Emily? Yeah. You might want to come out. No. Something really amazing has happened. Really? Yes. Really? You might want to go to the Argentine boa exhibit. No. no. Yeah. Oh my gosh, seriously? She's been hiding the last like two days. She has. Someone said she looked a little skinny, so we looked under her rock. And you might need to check under the rock. Oh my gosh, she's so much thinner. She's very skinny. The are under there. Yeah, you can't see the them from here, so she's going to go around back. It happened. No, no. Oh my gosh. There's so many locks on here. Oh my gosh. Get them all the locks. Oh, that's not even the right key. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is the stream on? I believe it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. No way. I'm like Girl, shaking. How are you? Oh my gosh. I don't. Oh my oh, gosh. There wow. They are. Argentine boa babies. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kim got a bin. Yep. Just gonna go in here. Oh my gosh, there's a crowd here. Hi guys. And there's also a bunch of people on the stream up there. Hi guys, watching this. Oh my gosh. Like spit, it's funny. If I get bit, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, do you there... wanna go over there? Okay. Like squeeze in between the rock and okay. then I can hand them to me. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So Argentine boas develop their babies in one of two ways. They either eat throughout or they don't eat throughout. And she was one that did not want to eat throughout, which is fine, it's normal, but she's gotta be hungry. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's so um, they are, rock? yeah, you can slide it. They're all in this one pile. Oh, there's They're stickiness in here. here. Yeah, she's probably uh, not happy with us. Start grabbing, I guess. Oh, oh. my gosh. Look, the baby. Oh, my gosh. Stream, stream, look at this. She has babies. Ah, okay. Here you go. Aw, hi cutie. First baby. Oh, you're so soft. They're so I soft. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> they look like 
little uh, blood pythons. They do. They're like so silver. Oh my gosh. Mama, baby. Oh my actually. gosh. All okay, here you go. Was somebody watching the stream. Oh, was it? Oh, that's who was calling us? Yes. Oh, did they say they saw babies? They or? said that she looks really, really skinny. And she's been hiding under the rocks. Oh, we yeah. should have answered that phone call. Well, yeah. sorry, yeah. whoever called. Thank you for calling. We were just really busy, but thank you for calling back again and again and again. Knew we should have checked this morning. Yeah, I didn't want to like. If she was giving birth, I didn't want to like. Yeah, she's been her. done for a while. They're all slimy. They're all wet, and goopy. <laughs> we have we have placenta on our hand. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think we do. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Here, have another slimy Ew. Day, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Did, have you been keeping track at all? Uh, no. I okay. have not been counting. Alright, we're just gonna count in the back, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think this one is... Are you still in the sack? Oh, yeah. Can you come out? Are you ready? Hi, or are you too scared to come out of your little sack? Here, you have to come out at some point. You have to take your first breath. Oh, we're slithering back into it. <laughs> Hello. Come back out. There we go. Oh, welcome to the world! We just came out of the sack. Yay! Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh, did he just come out? Oh, this one just came out of the protective sack, actually. Oh, I should have picked him up a little bit more gently, but look at that. Your head is poking out. Welcome to the world. Uh, have some goop. Uh, mm, goopy. Mm. There they are. Oh my gosh. They're so weird smelling. They are. We were just talking about that. They smell like, what'd you say, dead fish? It's like I got the whiff of dead fish, but I think it's dead fish mixed with like nightcrawler. Oh yeah, like okay. Like when you're out fishing and you get that fishy nightcrawlery smell. Okay. I was thinking they smell like when you go to the aquarium and they're like feeding the otters a bunch of dead fish. That's what that smell is to me. So more fishy smell. So more fishy smell. Oh my gosh, some are still like that one's still in the um. That one's still the got sack. a lot of the sack on. Yeah. Oh that my was gosh. the one that you first pointed out that was still in the sack. Oh really? You're yeah. coming out. Okay. So Should do we? Start we counting? Yeah, let's count and we'll uh, check to make sure that they they don't have any kinks or anything. So check their spines, just make sure they look oh, healthy. Chunky they are. Oh my gosh, they're like elongated baby ball pythons. Yeah. In size. Yeah, that, that one feels good. Yep, looks good. Oh, that's a nice chunky baby. Nice chunky baby. Oh my I don't gosh. feel any kinks. Bit of umbilical cord yeah, still all attached. Of them still have umbilical cord. Do they all have yeah. that still? Oh. Two. Oh my gosh, this one's too shy to come out. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Okay, it's something you don't experience every day. Do you want to hold a, a brand new newborn snake? <laughs> yeah, hey, oh my gosh. Please, 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 please. Yes. please. Look at Here you go, Bubba. baby Argentine. Make me slimy. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we'll go through the rest of these. The last one. The last one. I'm also going to recount, like move them back into this bin after I wash this one out, because okay. I think I have the number. Okay. But I could have miscounted because you guys were back here chatting a lot. Yeah, sorry. We're very excited <laughs> over these babies. <laughs> Oh, I'll get the sack off of you. Oh, you're still attached. Here, do you want to snip that one for me? Oh, wait, your hands are gross, yeah, too. Here. Uh, here. We're snipping at a safe position there. So it can dry up and fall off. Yep, exactly. Just with, just like with humans. I mean, they're live bears, so we can kind of treat them the same way. Baby! Oh, my gosh! Baby Argentine boa! And into the pile! Look at all those baby Argentines. Oh, you my want, gosh. You want to save any of this? Goopy, snotty. No, I don't want to save that. Cat? Nope. You sure? Yep, that can go in the trash. Oh my gosh, look at them all. They're so pretty. Okay, time for the recount to get the final number. All right. We have our final number yep. of babies. I don't think I screwed it up this time. No, we double counted. Yep. And everybody's been wondering. We've already received calls to our store between the time we were in Phoenix's enclosure and in here, like filming this. And nobody knows. Only we and our staff know. Yep. Until right now, the answer is how many babies? 22, 22. babies! We have 22! Look at this one. He's already a little arboreal dude. You're Hi. super cute. Oh, look at their facial patterns and, man, the silver and those blotches. They are gorgeous snakes as babies, and they really darken as they age. Okay, 22 beautiful baby Argentine boas. Should we set them up in baby bins? Five of them are trying to escape. Oh, yeah, we have some escapees. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely set up baby bins for them. All right, baby bins! I can't believe this. I'm more surprised that she waited till we got back. Like, I was expecting her to give birth, I don't know, 
any time in March. Yeah, and we've been traveling a lot. And we've only been in town for like three, one week yeah. out of March, all of March. And she waited until we got she back. She waited till we got back. I am so surprised. I was like, do we have to like phony something and make it seem like we were here? We wouldn't do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah, we were, we were wondering if staff was gonna be Aww. taking them out or... Look. A little head is poking out. Oh, they're babies! Oh my gosh! They're so many! Dude. Look at their big bellies! They look so healthy! Oh my gosh! Okay, now we can take like a closer look at these guys. Yeah. They have a nice stripe right down the middle of their head, and they have that silver sheen. Oh, I wonder what they're gonna look like after they shed. I bet I they'll know. be even prettier, because they have the baby sheen right now. Probably. And what's cool is they have a way different baby smell than all the egg-laying species we're used to breeding. They have a gross baby smell. Yeah, dead fish baby smell. That's not a good baby no. smell. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys are stinky. Strong dead fish baby, baby smell for you guys. But it's okay, you're so cute, you make up for it. I wonder what the water is that's standing yeah, down there. Yeah, look at that. I think like, it's all amniotic fluid. That was transferred, these guys were transferred three times. Yeah, and the, they're still producing some sort of wetness. I think it's just this kind of like slime coat yeah. over their bodies. Just kind of dissipating. Yeah. All right, they're clean, getting cleaned off, so I yeah. think now is a good time to move them over to their baby bins. So what we're gonna do is have a similar set up for them as we do our other colubrids that we breed. We're gonna have damp paper towels for the bottom. So we're gonna mist these down. And we have plenty of baby bins right now because it's not our normal baby season. So this yep. is perfect. We can just put one per bin. But what we're gonna do is, let's say this is the um, the cool side. So this will be the back. This will be the warm side. We're gonna do a hide in back, a water dish up front, a rock that they can kind of rub up against to um, shed, and it'll also help hold down that corner of paper towel, and some piece of enrichment in the middle. We're gonna do that for each one of these bins, and then put all the babies in. I'm surrounded by baby bins. <laughs> You look like, when you did that, you look like the ranch guy on TikTok. The, the guy who's really into ranch. Oh, really? He, like, whenever he gets, like, food, he does, like, a little, yeah. It's like me with <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now I want to look up the ranch guy. I'll show you the ranch guy after this. Okay. <laughs> Emily is with baby snakes as ranch guy is with ranch. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Especially okay. this many baby snakes. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. We're going in close. Oh, you're going to block the light. I am. Here I'm they going are. like this. Wonder how many I can hold. Let's get your goopy hands again. <laughs> I would say that's probably oh 10, 10 to 12. Hold a, I don't want to hold them up too high because they're <laughs> kind of sliding out. They're also babies. Look at all the baby boas. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's ah! about seven actually. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know how many that is, but it's yeah, probably seven or eight. Yeah. Well, into dumping them in. The baby bins they go. Oh, wow, they're so big. Yeah, they are. I'm so used to hog noses or pole snakes where they're like about that long, but super skinny in comparison. Right. We're going to have to decide on three or four or, you know, a decent amount to keep. We're keeping three or four? I was thinking three, like a male and two females. Okay. I mean, their parents are, I think, about 20 years old. So eventually their time is going to come because they are yeah. old. So I think we should start raising up their replacements now, yeah, we can do that. I think. Well, and if we maybe do like an even swap with a male for somebody else's male. That'd be a good idea for a new bloodline. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, just to get some different genetics in. So yeah, let's hold back a male, two females, and then we'll swap a male. Okay. okay. Well, why not a male and three females? We could do that too. <laughs> I don't think that many would fit in that enclosure. That's true. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll decide later which ones we're gonna keep, but yep. we're just that'll kind of be determined on how good of eaters they are, which they're boas, they're Argentine boas. These are usually good eaters. Yeah. But you still want to wait it out to see before you pick your holdbacks. Speaking of that, Twitch was wondering when are we gonna feed uh Phoenix? Phoenix. Let's see, today's Sunday. She looks like she eat right now. Do you want to try to we feed her try. today? Maybe we'll try. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we were at three babies there. Yep, so four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 
21. And 22, which I'll put in in a second. I want to hold you a little longer. Oh my gosh, look at your little face. I still can't believe we have Argentine boa babies. Yeah, first for, boas. First boa babies, yeah. First live bearer species. Yeah, snake completely viviparous. Yep, yeah. because it's debatable with the garter snakes being ovoviviparous or viviparous. Depends on who you talk to. But these are definitely viviparous. Oh, so, first completely live bearing species for us. Oh my goodness. It wasn't as messy as I thought it would be yeah, you know i mean she had them all in one pile that's true she didn't spread them around yeah so. yeah so it could have been much worse yeah a very good way to ease ourselves into boas i and guess and i mean we cleaned up like 80 percent of it now it's staff's job to clean the rest right? i think i think i got it all i don't want to be mean to staff but they can take a look at the, the yeah. rest of it yeah well that's true. i'll tell them to go in there and <laughs> look at the rest of it you know for a minute there i was starting to wonder if phoenix was just fat like yeah. we were waiting for so long. It's been four months since we put up a sign saying Phoenix is pregnant or gravid. Guess how many babies she's gonna have? And people were starting to wonder if she actually was pregnant or not. I mean, but I was she is. I was afraid was. she had like a tumor inside of her. Oh really? That was what I was starting to go with. <laughs> I mean, all the signs pointed towards gravid, yes. so I wasn't too worried. But still, when you have to wait that long, you, you'd never know. Well, and every boa person we've talked to has been like, yeah, you get excited, and your excitement builds to the point that they're never gonna have it, and then once you give up hope they give you babies that's so, right that's kind of where we were at <laughs> yeah i think what we're gonna do to end this video is try to feed mom see if she's hungry and then we're actually gonna wait until they have their first shed so you can see what they look like after that baby sheen goes away but while we wait for them to shed let's see if mama's hungry Bye. nice oh, it's the first meal she's taken in five months Wow. That's crazy. She ate. She ate. But she For hasn't eaten. Day any. after breeding. Or yeah. Producing. Right. Yeah. The day after Laying. she gave birth. Yeah. You got it. It's fine. It's fine. I got you. Uh, yeah. She hasn't eaten in like six months Five, because six she months. was yep. developing babies. But that just shows that's why she wasn't eating is because yep. she she was and pregnant. Now she's ravenous. Yes. I'm glad we fed her. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're back, and I think we're gonna take a look at the stillborns just to see how many there are. Uh, I'm curious how they developed and how they look. Let's see. We have. Really great. Gross. They are very smelly and definitely not alive. Yep. We've got one here, just didn't fully develop. Yep, I'll stay back here. Really you stinky. Can, you can get your nose all up in there. Two. That one's like squished. It's like roadkill. Oh my gosh. Maybe this is a bad idea. Smell vision. Three. Smell vision. Four and five. There were five oh. stillborns. Um, just didn't fully develop or, you know, um, make it in the end for various reasons you never know but they you know it happens sometimes that's yeah. why they have so many babies because exactly. not all of them are going to make it she'll she'd give birth out in the wild and then all the little ones would slither away and then yep. muskrats and birds would yeah. come and eat those guys yep. these would feed something else exactly so we're just going to focus on the healthy babies it's the next day and ed and i just can't get over these adorable baby argentine boas look his umbilical cord is like drying okay, up but... and is about to fall off there mine that. has just a little nub left oh yeah the just a little bit there left yeah and then their eyes we just noticed aren't round pupils but they aren't vertical either they're like cross-shaped almost or star-shaped which is super cool i've never seen that in a snake before hello i like the white tip of their tongue yeah that's really pretty too oh you have a white tongue tip my camera doesn't want to focus on them they're so little and movie oh yeah who is that did you just see oh. your sibling oh i don't want to be next to him oh hello look at your cute oh my gosh the focus is going crazy okay okay i'll put you back look i found a feisty one. Oh, you're so angry oh my gosh you're only a day old dude Thank you. Are you going to strike or is it all bluff? Are you going to bite me? Are you actually sassy? Did you just try to hiss there? He did. Aww. Okay, so some of them are kind of sassy. Mm -hmm. Or at least one of them is. It's been one week since the babies were born. I can't wait to see them again. I'll take this one out. Who are you? Aww. Oh my gosh, they're just as cute as oh they were. Oh my gosh, they're super in blue. Oh yeah, they are. Look, they're going through their first shed. Okay. We also can't wait like another week <gasps> or two weeks to let them shed and try to eat, so. Yeah, we were told by another boa breeder that they're nice at the beginning, but then they shed and they turn into little spitfires after that. So maybe if they do that, we'll have to do like a video of trying Ooh, to feed all 23? Is it 23 of them? Uh, 22. 22 22, 22. which by the way, Patreon backers, you might be confused uh, with the number 22, because we told you guys that Phoenix only gave birth to 19 babies. Well, we were 
testing. We lied. Yeah, don't get mad. We were testing you. We gave you a fake number to see if we could trust you with that information because we told you not to share it. I honestly thought the number Someone 19 Someone would have was, shared it. I thought that was going to spill for sure, but nobody said the number 19. Like, as far as I can tell, nobody yeah. has leaked that. So I'm sorry that we gave you the wrong number, but now we know we can trust you. So. Yeah. Good job! Good yeah, job, so Patreon next time, backers! Next time, we will give you the right number. We will! Yep, you passed the test! That was perfect! So yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up this video. We're not gonna feed them or see them after their first shed. We're gonna, I think, film that maybe as part of shenanigans or a different yeah. video. Or I, just a whole video by itself, feeding maybe. these babies. Yeah, so stay tuned for a lot more content about the Argentine boas. Again, we are just so thrilled that she finally gave birth to a very healthy litter. Clutch? Clutter. Clutter. Oh, that term gets to come back. All right, she gave birth to a very healthy clutter of 22 baby Argentine boas. Oh, have we talked about the ones we're gonna keep? No, we haven't even decided that Ooh, yet. Okay, so we're probably going to keep three or four, uh, two females and one or two males, depending on how good of eaters they are, just because Phoenix and Ember are old and we know they're not gonna live forever. So we wanna start raising up their replacements for the zoo someday. So we are gonna hold back a few of these so you'll get to watch a few grow with us at Snake Discovery. So thank you so, so much guys for watching and for waiting and watching the stream for hours on end until she finally gave birth. It is here, the babies are here, and I'm gonna just hold this baby for another hour. I think he's very sweet and doesn't smell like dead fish anymore. Hooray. It's even better. Yay! Thank you, Patreon backers. Thank you, viewers. And we'll see you next time. Welcome to the world, little baby boa.